Alright everyone, we are back with more Xenoblade Chronicles X. Previously we did some affinity missions, we did two, but it wasn't as much because I wanted to do another, but I found out I gotta complete chapter 10 first. We're gonna have a field day with it when, we, that, when that moment comes. But in the meantime, we got another two to go through, so we're gonna get started with this mission. Prospective Partners, and for this one you need to complete chapter 9 and survey 18% of the planet Mira. Let's rock! We have visitor! Well, it isn't every day the Director General stops by for a visit. I'm a busy man, I fear. But something's come up that I'd like your team to handle. Stuffy Suit came to the right place. Make request and Tatsu will see what he can do. Right. Well, I'd like to propose we enhance our surveillance of the ganglion. Is there something you're expecting to find? We've had a string of unusual reports lately. There have been rumors that the ganglion are fighting amongst themselves. Power struggles? With all those species working together, I imagine they've no shortage of infighting. Which is precisely what we want to exploit. Hence, the need for intel. And why I'd like you to focus on expanding Frontier now, for now. All right. We'll take it on as a formal request from you. Why not? We can get this done. And now we need to explore 20% of Mira. We already got that covered. And if you think we kid, we don't. This mission was in fact easy. Yeah, since off screen I did a lot of exploring. And I figured I would do it for the best since there's so much I've done it's insane. Noctilum is almost at 50%. The only areas I haven't covered is in fact Caldros. And Caldros is a heck hole. So yeah, so if the episode is a bit short, my apologies. Hmm. Fascinating. Find something useful? All intelligence is useful, Colonel. It's just a matter of finding the best lens to view it through. Wow, that's deep, sir. If I'm not mistaken, you fought against a Rothian squadron before, yes? Rothian? Tatsu hear that name someplace before. Warriors through and through. The sort you don't want for enemies. Hmm, not ringing any bells. Come on, we fought them in Silvalum, remember? <laughs> oh, right! Tatsu remember now. Kitty cat people, right? We've analyzed frontier nav records for evidence of ganglion infighting. Every instance has involved Rothians fighting against one race or another. This is more than just a few simple disagreements. We believe they've broken ties with the ganglion entirely. And on less than amicable terms. If they really have left the ganglion, that might be a possibility. Their motives certainly seem different enough. If their values align with ours. As we often said on Earth, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. I expect an alliance with the Rothians would prove beneficial for both of us. Agreed. Even beyond the practical limits, it just makes sense for us to try and make as many friends as possible. Which brings me to your next mission. I need you to travel to the site of the latest clash to gather data. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Looks like this mission won't take us long. But I never thought the idea of Rothnians teaming up with us would be... unexpected. And personally, I'd say that's a good thing. And they're spotted at Noctilum. Up north at most. Let's get moving. And yeah, I did the whole exploring ahead of time just so it could save me a lot of time and trouble. Because, hey, I needed something to do. I mostly spent like five, six hour sessions playing this game. 
It's insane. Okay, y'all, to your scouts. It's flight time. And flying around your scale just makes it... Oh, never mind. There it is. Let's check this out. That's right. We've located a Rothian Skell. It seems mostly undamaged. No, no pilot in sight. It's unclear if they abandoned the Skell or were killed. What about the data unit? Intact, as far as I can see. Excellent. Please bring it back with you. Also, a sample of the plating and any weaponry you can manage. We'll do what we can. Ready for a little manual labor? Are you kidding? I can't wait to get this stuff home to analyze it. Huh? What do you mean? Elma? Well, no point in hiding it, I suppose. I can't be certain, but if I had to venture a guess, I'd assume this is all just insurance in case an alliance falls through. You mean, we're gathering this data to make fighting the Rothians easier? Oh, I'm sure diplomatic talks will come first. And even if we can't secure a friendship, that doesn't mean we have to fight. But it's always good to prepare for the worst possible scenario. Especially if you're the man responsible for the safety of all of New L.A. Well, I hope the Alliance can work out. As do I, Lynn. For now, let's get back to work. Good thing. Time for us to gather parts from the scales themselves. And there are three of them. But we also gotta watch out, though. Okay, we got a part. Now let's move on to the next one. Don't worry, you'll spot them on the screen if they're like green exclamation points. And since we're at a much higher level, let's hope they don't detect us. Alright, that's another one right here. That makes two. Now to see if we can find the last one. But to do that, we're going to have to head high. Airborne, guys! Aha! There it is. And there's actually two others here. And it's at the same place. Well, that's unexpected. Okay, we got the parts. Now, next stop, let's head to Blade Tower. And knowing the Director General, he'll probably have a lot to t lot to say. And by the by, I've been enjoying all these missions because, yeah, it not only helps progress the story more, but at least by doing this, you get a pretty good idea of what's going on. Not to mention it adds completion towards inspecting and exploring every single nook and cranny this world has to offer. I received your report. Good work collecting those samples. I'm just sorry we weren't able to get more. We'll take what we can get. You have my thanks. They're an exceptionally proud people. If we can forge an alliance, I'm certain they'll be friends we can trust. I'll remember that. And should the day come, I'd like you to serve as ambassador. My pleasure. As long as you don't send me there to declare war. Perish the thought. The fewer enemies we have, the easier my job is. Well, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't that bad of a mission, of course, but I thought it wouldn't be getting, like, any worse. But hey, for a simple mission, I'm okay with it. At least it didn't take us that long. Not to mention segment recon complete. Not to mention an upgrade in the blade barracks. I need to check this out. There's another, and that one's going to be saved for next chapter. Oh boy, that's going to be nuts. All right. We're almost at three hearts, but I think we can handle one more mission. But let me check, because I want to see my affinity with Elma and Lin, the two characters I've known since the beginning. Perfect five hearts. Yeah, that's a first. As for Lin, also perfect five hearts. That's true bonds. True bonds till the end. But other than that, what more I can say? Yes, Nagi will have you around for a little longer. 
I believe, yeah, one of you is going to have to stay behind. So, Elma, you're going to have to stay behind for a little while. Nothing against you, of course, but yeah. Let's go pick up our good friend, Frog, I think. Let's see if we can find him. There he is, Frog. Although I have, I know I'm going to be covering a later mission soon enough with Hope, but I got to raise her up to four hearts. Heck, I'm going to have to be raising a lot of characters up to four hearts. It's nuts. But worth it. Okay, Foggy. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Is this about work? Uh, duh. Of course I want to add you. I need ya. I need all the help I can get right now. And at level 40, no doubt, I had to train you for hours. And I'm going to have to build you up to three hearts so that way we can then train your brother and then tackle some of the more tougher stuff. And yeah, the next mission's straight ahead, so we're just going to have to walk through down. And it's probably going to take a while, of course. But not to worry, I'm not worried about it one bit. Of course, this is all going to contribute to getting us new allies the works. Nice, another segment from the commercial district. Isn't that lovely? And this probably is it. This is the mission. For this, you need to complete Chapter 7 and the Bottoms Up Affinity Mission. We're now going to begin the next Affinity Mission. Hopefully, this will be one that will conclude this episode, A Great Divide. Um, so, there's a mission I'd like your help with. It's from an outfitter team working on a new scale. I guess they found some strange things during tests in Oblivia. They've asked us to investigate them and find out what they are. I know, I'm curious too. But I'm afraid we don't know anything specific at the moment. That's kind of the point, actually. This would normally be a curator kind of job, right? But I asked them to make an exception for me. I want to become a more well-rounded player. Someone more like you or my brother. A man who can handle any mission. I feel like I've only just discovered what I want to be since I met you. I'll do my best. If I keep completing missions and building trust, I hope to make my brother proud. Yes. Anyway, should we go? Yes, let's go. Seems keen to make amends with someone from his past. Next stop, Oblivia. <laughs> Boy, I've got butterflies on this one. A lot of butterflies to be specific. And it's in the south coast. Hmm, perfect spot. This won't take us long. Hopefully once I finish chapter 10, then we can tackle the meat of some of these missions. And it's gonna be nuts. Okay, straight ahead. And it looks like we got some uninvited guests And What's this? Well, only one way to find out. Let's investigate. Oh my, we're gonna be in for some trouble. This is them. Hmm. I've definitely never seen one of these before. Right then. I know, but if my brother were here, he wouldn't let that stop him. He just had to do it. All right, let's do this. Let's take down these Oxerbia bars. And this is turning into a heck home off fight. Oh, man. Yeah, but they're not that hard. All of us are around level 40, like at least 10 levels higher. Let's go. And let's cripple them to size. Lynn's in trouble. We better do something fast. But I didn't think we'd be experiencing five of them. 
Okay, that's it. Let's just get in our scales. Yeah, because truthfully, we're going to be dead by the time we're done. And if we die, it's going to suck. Okay, you want to fight, my friend? You got to fight right here. I've got the heavy artillery for you. And I'm going to make you wish you never met me. Here we go. Let's do this. Don't worry, take it easy, dude. We got this. Great, solo it is, huh? Fine, I'll just wipe the floor out of them all. And besides, they're not that hard. Should have brought our rides, too. Yes, that was my fault on that. That's okay. Oh, goody, they're bringing in nasty mega lasers. Oh, dear, I think we got proven that wrong. Man, they had to bring this thing in, level 40. Guess we sort of got them angry. Fine, I'll just have to die on purpose just to survive it. Ah, great. Talk about getting sent aside, and it doesn't help. Yeah, I'm dead. Great. You know what? This time we're going to bring in our suits, and we're going to wipe the floor with them. Gentlemen, to our scales. It's time we wipe out the locals. I'd rather intimidate them for that matter, because they're all getting a one-way ticket to the junkyard. Attack. Let's keep our eyes open for anything else that's going to screw things up. Let's topple them, let's blast them, let's wipe them out. And you know you're going to be in for a heck of a fight. Uh-oh. Incoming level 48 enemy. And if it gets involved in the fight, we are so dead. Gotta keep blasting, gotta keep shooting. Oh no, now the music's changed and now we're gonna be in for a tough fight. This is bad. Oh, come on. Is that the best these guys got? Pathetic! If we take them down, then we can just run for our dear lives. Or if we be daring, we can just take them on regardless. Gravity Blast. Yes, at least with this, I'm at full-fledged invulnerability. Well, Fog's dead. Let's just wipe them out before our scales end or a one-way ticket to the scrap pile. Okay, let's take it into overdrive. Shields up. And that's it. Nice. Hmm. What strange organisms. I've never seen anything like them. We've met them before. I don't know. I don't see much reason for them to lay a trap out here. No sense in idle speculation, I suppose. Let's bring one back and have the lab crew take a look. I'm sure my friend Solon will be able to help us out. Solon? Hmm. That could help. But at least we won't have to deal with that level 40 anytime soon. Though if I am going to take it on, it's going to be on my terms and it's going to be in for a butt kicking. Next stop, Administrative District. But man, I can't believe I died, but I had to like get off my scale intentionally to save it. Yeah, if you get off your scale before its HP hits zero and then you die, you basically fully repair your scale and it saves you a lot of money and trouble. Really does. Alright, let's get off our rides. Oh yeah, we need to get in here. Wait, where is it? Oh, there he is. Hello, Solon. It's been a while. Sorry, who are you? Oof. Um, Fog? Ah, oh, yes, of course. I remember because you have all the presence of your namesake. Uh, but you didn't remember. Right, well, apologies. Did you need me? Uh, yes. We were attacked by a strange organism in Oblivia. 
Some new bioweapon from the Ganglion? We're not sure. We brought one back so you could take a look, if you don't mind. Sounds dangerous. I love it! Let's go take a look. Well then, a cursory analysis rules out the bioweapon theory. It's not Ganglion. Tech level is wrong. Meaning... No clue? Could be another indigenous Mirin species. You know, one that lives only in Oblivia? I see. Do you know about all those ruins over in that region? It's possible something in one of them could help provide us with answers. Why do I get the feeling the rest of my day is going to be in ruins? A reasonable assumption. Anyway, there are three likely sites, so you'll want to get on that. Why not? But I don't like this one bit. I feel bad for Fong, though. Fog, though. And all three of them are in the same spot. Well, this just makes things a heck of a lot easier for me. A heck of a lot easier, so let's just explore and find out for ourselves. Find a massive ring, a battle ruin, and acquire a North Coast Riddle. Riddle Rock. Wait, the first item's right here. Let's get this one first. And it's right here. You'll notice that it's in red instead of blue. Those are mostly key items. All right, we got the North Coast Riddle Rock. Going airborne. Now let's see if we can find the other two items. And now early morning arrives in Oblivia. Oh my. Didn't think the guys have a gangling would have a base there. Go figure. Alright, time we move on to the next item. And if you hold both ZL and ZR, you can free fall down. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wait a minute. Right there. Aha! Alright, got the bone ruin fragments. Now let's move on and get the last one we'll be done here. Convert into vehicle mode. This should make things easier. Right, we're almost there. Shouldn't take us long, but I really like how we're going to have to explore every bit of this place. Is this it? Yep, it is. All right, we're done, so now let's head for the administrative district and be done with the mission. Hopefully, Solon won't be much of a douchebag. And if he is a douchebag, then I'm not gonna like it one bit. All right, that takes care of it, let's land. And meet up with this guy. He's over there? I wonder why he moved from his spot, though. I received the data you sent from the ruins. I'll get started on it now. Sorry, but there's only one thing I can say for sure. And that is? It's not a ganglion weapon, or native to Mira. Oh, and it's not from Earth. That was three things, actually. Ah. <sighs> uh, Fog, you still with us? Yeah, I understand it's less than we hoped for, but still... Brother. That's right.
Fry Kristoff is my older brother. It's a bit of a long story. Do you mind listening? I'm in for the, wall, the long haul, so why the heck not? Right. First, let me apologize for not telling you about this sooner. My brother and I had a huge fight back on Earth. The Kristoffs are a military family. Fry, our father, his father, his father. But I took after my late mother. I wanted to be an engineer. And though we were different, we were all still close. But that all changed when it came time to board the White Whale. My father was the only one of us who didn't get a spot. He stayed behind on Earth. Fry couldn't see how someone with his experience and rank could be denied. And he raised holy hell about it. Oh yes, Dad was Fry's hero in most respects. Anyway, Fry had it wrong. Still does, I assume. Unlike him, I accepted the truth immediately. I had no objection to leaving our father behind. Because that was his choice, you see. And I wanted to respect his wishes. He said an old man like him had no place taking someone else's spot. All his life he'd sacrificed himself to keep others safe. This was no different. Except that it meant we'd never meet again. But Fry wouldn't hear it. He refused to listen to me or Dad. He's been bitter and distant ever since. So do I. I'm probably strange for not trying to change my father's mind, right? I'm just hoping that if I make a name for myself here, I can speak to Fry as a peer. Maybe then he'll finally listen. Anyway, I really appreciate your help in all this. It was a pleasure, Fry. I mean, Fog. But like I said, I really do feel bad. And learning about this was enough. We also learned the dual gun art sky high. And yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for the episode. Because to be honest, after so much, man, that was something. It really is. And let's see if we're able to boost our bonds now. Three hearts complete, sweet. And for Fog, we're almost there, but we still have a lot to do. With Fry, a heck of a lot to do. So yes, I am ending this episode here. Next time, we're moving on to Chapter 10. And after that, it's gonna be Affinity and a lot of training to do. Because yeah, it's gonna take a while. So anyway, that's it for today's episode of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you guys know the drill. Please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta prepare for Chapter 10.